So, what'll you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Yeah. But wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> with this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I think I understand you. Let's take her then. For the citizens of Jackdaw. As we approach this fort, right away we use the spyglass to assess the threat. Here we can see a schooner and a brig. We'll have to deal with them as we fight the fort. Forts have towers that we need to take out before being able to infiltrate them for a ground assault. Here is a new weapon in the naval, the mortar. It is great against fort towers, does a lot of damage, and obviously you don't have to worry about guiding the shot. This is early in the game, so this is an easy fort with only two towers. The world consists of multiple zones. Each zone has one fort protecting it. The harder the zone, the harder the fort. We've managed to take one tower down. There is a lot happening and it can get intense. This is a naval sandbox and in this case we chose to attack while there's a brig nearby. This could have easily happened at night or during a hurricane storm with water spouts and 30 foot waves. There could have been a bigger military presence. There is a lot of variety and a lot of different experiences that you can have in the naval. This enemy ship is a brig, which is a charger type enemy. Here, he has begun his attack and is charging into ram. Looking behind us automatically selects the new fire barrel weapon. Using fire barrels, we can use his attack against him and do some big damage. You have a lot of new weapons on the jackdaw. Here, we combine the heavy shot with a swivel attack. If we had upgraded our ram, we could have used it to effectively do damage against him. But we'll finish him off with a mortar shot. This is harder to do as we have to lead the shot, but super effective when it lands. Now the brig is incapacitated, so we can board him if we choose to. But since we still have a tower to deal with, we'll take him down and go finish off this board. Even though we've weakened the fort, these towers still do a lot of damage, so we still have to brace to defend ourselves. Now that the towers are down, we need to infiltrate to capture this fort. To capture a fort, you need to find and kill the fort commanders. Seamlessly, we go from the naval straight into the fort tower we just destroyed. The seamless concept was something we knew we needed to push because it brings the gameplay and immersion to a whole new level. There are multiple entrances that we can take, some faster than others. And as you enter a restricted area, Edward will put his hood on, giving you the cue that things will get more dangerous. Guards will attack you on sight. Here, the battle's already started. Taking advantage of the chaos, we'll rush in and find the commander. Edward is a very agile pirate and an assassin. Using his free running, we can easily scale the fort and find the commander. And there he is. Using the new free aiming, we can headshot his guard. This is something new in Assassin's Creed games. Now that we're close, we'll use a running assassinate to take him out and take the fort. Taking forts gives lots of rewards. It unclogs the map and shows the nearby locations. It unlocks side missions, shops, treasures, and collectibles. All things that help with the progression of Edward and the Jackdaw. And the best thing about taking a fort is that it's yours. It will attack enemy ships and protect you. Well, hello, your excellency. I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate. But your name was borrowed the last time we spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you.
<laughs> Way to the mark, Kenway. Maybe he remembers where his rat is hiding. Before my aim markedly improves. <laughs> that flushed him out. I'll catch you up, Thatch. There's no drinking after death, lads. You hang tight, love. I'll be back. I'll come back for your coin later, lads. Hello? Pat! Lieutenant! You out here? Jenkins, what's the news? It's damn near a riot out there. And I reckon can we suspect something? Don't miss much. What was that? You certainly didn't bring some of your sandwiches in to Jenkins. Look sharp. Stevens, make certain there's no surprise. Secure the other side and watch the bar. Aye. Stay here. Shoot anything that moves. Yes, sir. Come on. Time. Tell me about the beat. A fair gathering, sir. Most too drunk to stand. That will suit our purpose. But for a moment I die there. Bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. What about our man? They've been pressing him hard all night. But he's not broken yet. Good. Quickly, send the signal. Get him! Can we? That won't be the last. Take no quarter, lads, and give none neither!
this point in the story, we're going after a man named Julian Ducas, an arms dealing Templar. To get him, we're gonna head to Havana to build up Edward, but on our way, we're gonna let ourselves get distracted by this unidentified cavern. To access this specific cavern, you need a diving bell. The diving bell is a real 18th century device that sailors and pirates use to access deeper waters, shipwrecks filled with treasures, and secret entrances to caves and cenotes. Here, you're getting a little taste of the underwater. A lot of ambient life, predators, fish, a very lively and dense environment, and this is something that we're really able to push with the next gen, to have this really incredibly dense and detailed environment. As you can see, Edward does not have his weapons or tools. This is the risk you take when you access the underwater caves. Let's whistle to attract this guard's attention. This specific enemy is what we call an agile. They carry blades. Taking him out allows us to take his blade and use it for ourselves. We've also enhanced the ego vision so that you can tag enemies and see them through walls. It's important for us to push the stealth and make it a viable way to play this game if you choose to. 